Thank you. I'm Cass Clayton, and this is Taylor Scott. Um, we have written our la my last two albums together. Taylor is actually our producer for the Cass Clayton Band, and has his own band called Taylor Scott Band as well that just released a new song this week, actually, called, uh, what's it called again? Uh, this, time this time next year. year. If you get a chance to go on Bandcamp, you need to check that, that song out. It's really great. This next song is called Still Water. It's off of our first album together. And, you know, it's about when you have that person who, if you're kind of like a nervous person, like I can be sometimes, who's always calming to you and is your still water. And we all need that. Actually, I could use a little less still water right now. I think I need a shake up. I think I need to like go to a city, <laughs> but we aren't gonna be able to do that for a while. So just enjoy our still water. what's underneath truth eludes me same old mystery surface rages and I can't reach the shore but you remind me of what I'm looking for I ride that roller coaster me from afar, no judgment in your soul. The peaceful way of yours calms my worried mind. So I can lean back, leave it all behind. Still water, take me Thank you. I appreciate it. It's sure nice to be playing again. We've had a big hiatus, as everybody knows. The whole world's had a hiatus. And it's just good to see human faces smiling. I know when people are smiling, this is an amazing thing. Even when people are wearing masks, you can see a smile in their eyes. 
Is that Jeff? I've never seen you in a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Our friend Jeff is here. Yeah, yeah baby. Which New York Jeff owns from? the studio where we record, <laughs> Far and Away Studios, and we miss him so much. We miss recording, we miss being with people. It's a, it's a time of a lot of change for everybody, so I hope we make good use of it and make the world a good place to live when we come back to it. I see you walking, catching, find your place at the bar. Pretty girl to the right, on the left, that old guitar. I've seen you here before, bottom floor, on the main backstage. Guess it wasn't time to know you, so when Play nice. <laughs> he sure does.
and we were just really in a very busy mode of writing music and playing music and being out all the time. And I kind of started to lose a little sense of that inner quiet that I used to have. And boy, do I have plenty of inner quiet now. I am like <laughs> <laughs> nothing but that. But this song is called Little Things and it's about that.
Thank you. Taylor Scott there on guitar. Oh, makes me so happy. It's so great to be here. I hope everybody at home is doing well. We miss you. We hope your lives are healthy and happy. We're just thrilled to be playing something in this beautiful environment up on Sugar, sh is it Sugar? Sugar Loaf Mountain. That sounds like yum. <laughs> it is yum. It's actually really beautiful. This next song um, was off of our previous album, and uh, we hope you like it. It's written by Taylor, and it's, I fell in love with this song immediately. It's just so beautiful, and it's sad. I want to send it out to Jeff today. Yeah. We love you, Jeff. Thank you 
so much. Thank you. Well, let's have some fun. What's next? Let's have some fun. Let's bring it up a little bit. This was one of the this next one was one of the first songs we wrote together called Let's Not Be Friends. I think it was the first song. It actually was the first song we wrote together. Yeah, you're right. And uh, we took this song and another one in the studio, and we just thought we were going to do a couple songs, and then we're like, wow, that felt good. Let's do it again. <laughs> so we hope you like it. <clears throat> Let's not be friends, because we both want a little bit more. Let's not.
next song is called Phase of the Moon. And Phase of the Moon um, was a hard song to write for me. I remember when I started kind of getting down to the what that song really wanted to say. I just wasn't, I was having a hard time getting to the bottom of it because I didn't want to go there. It's about losing people that you love and you know, going through a lot of phases of the moon with somebody, and ultimately, you know, everything in life ends, of course. And uh, we've all lost people, and uh, it's hard. And, and this song was really about knowing that I was going to lose somebody I love very much. just dropped behind the mountains yeah. so I can take my sunglasses off, say hello to everybody with real eyeballs.
and put a jacket on because it just, like when that sun drops in Colorado, this altitude, it instantly drops like five degrees. Can you talk about this one for a minute? Yeah. So this uh, next song is off of our most recent album, and it was the final song that I remember very distinctly writing this song because I was meeting Taylor the next day with a song that I had written that I hadn't written or started yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really late at night and I ran across this thing on the internet just like looking for, just like scanning, looking at ideas. I had really nothing, but I wanted it to be a special song. And there was something about a freak show, a historical freak show, and something about that idea just really made me so sad you know, treating people poorly and, you know, because they are different or have, you know, something about them that the world considered to be not acceptable. And I found out later after, I mean, this song, once I had that idea, it really came together quickly, which generally doesn't happen for me. So it was kind of like a bolt from the blue. It's almost like this song just wanted to come in on its own. And then I found out after the album came out, my sister said, you know, at the same, about the same time, I was making a piece of art about freak shows. It, it bothered her just as much as it bothered me, and it was really kind of the way her life and my life have been. We always seem to have this synchronicity together, and this is the result. <laughs> Oh! 
Okay, the time has come to sing one of my favorite songs with Taylor Scott. He's going to sing it. This is a new song of his oh, cool. called Nothing on Paper. I gotta go to He's my, such a... singing belt. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Didn't know that there was one. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I understand, though, because like when you're sitting, your diaphragm is all squished up, so you got to like let it out to let that song out. Um, but it's such a great song. He's such a great songwriter. You should really check out Taylor Scott Band. Um, he's got a website. And like I said, they just had a new song that came out last week on Bandcamp. And you're going to like it. All right, thanks. This song is about things uh, never really going as you planned them. And that that's cool. Even though it's scary. All right. It's called Nothing on Paper. I'm 
Nothing on paper. Thanks to Cass for singing on it. Yeah, my pleasure. Love doing harmonies with you. All right, we got two more, Cass, I think. Sorry, I didn't get that yeah. signal to you. You pick them. Yeah, we're going to do a couple more songs here. Let's do, Lisa, uh, let's do Strange Conversation and Lisa's Brother. Okay. Does that work? Maybe, how about, maybe we can try and end it. Is that cool? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Cool. All right. So, strange conversation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can't you hear 
Thank you. We've got one more song for you. Thanks so much. It's been wonderful being here with you. Oh, it's just so good to play music again. I hope everybody's having a good time.
to your own beauty. 